Hey guys, welcome back to RC311 Studios where we do RC product reviews. Once a week we give one lucky subscriber the chance to win the product that we actually are reviewing. This week we have, have the actual Flybotic stunt drone. This will be a product giveaway. We picked it up from Tesco's in the sale, the 50% sale for £25. Should have been £50. So if you are in the UK, check it out before the sale ends on the 3rd of November. It's not a paid promotion. Just went into Tesco, saw this, saw a, a few other bits that we're going to bring to you and just thought it'd be great, especially at the price that everything was, 50% off. Uh, we, what we'll do is we'll do a quick review of the product, uh, have a look around the box, see what it does. Then we'll unbox it quickly and do a product test and review at the end. Right guys, they're saying 14 plus years of age, recommendation age-wise. As far as advanced level, they're saying they give it three out of four stars. It is a stunt drone, so it will do a 360 flip, maybe other stunts, but we'll look into that. It says it has a headless mode. It has three speeds. It has slow, moderate, and fast. Um, as far as the charging, the hand controller takes a four AA batteries and the actual drone itself has a live poly battery and it has a USB charging lead that comes with the drone. So you can plug it into the back of your iMac or your PC, your charge pack, whatever you have, uh, charge it up and away you go. By the sounds of it, so there's a possibility you could get spare batteries for it if it is a separate thing and you're not actually charging the drone, it's a separate battery on, it, on its own, which will be good. Um, let's just have a quick look around the box and bring you a little bit more information before you go out and, and spend your money and buy the product. Um, it is 2.4 gigahertz, which is good that, you, that you'll be able to use it multiplayer. Six access gyro, four channel controller. Um, to be honest, it's, it, it looks like a good bit of kit. It's got a front light and a back light, four protection rings. It also comes with four spare um, propellers and a small little screwdriver so you can change out the propeller itself. Guys, like I said, this is gonna be a product giveaway, so if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and that will notify you when I've uploaded new videos to YouTube. Also, give it a thumbs up and share, the, share it with your friends. Um, like I said, these guys, Flybotic, they're on Facebook and they have their own YouTube video, so check that out as well. We will then, like I said, we'll get straight to an unboxing, and then we'll bring you a review. We'll test it and review at the end. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two, two, right guys, so after that very quick unboxing, this is actually what you get in the box. Uh, detailed instruction manual. The drone itself, that will need the landing gear in installing. Um, little spares packet with some spare pro props, some spare propellers, your landing gear, your USB charging lead, and little Phillips screwdriver. So that's ready to, to go and obviously your hand controller. Okay, so let's just get straight into this guys. Hand controller needs four AA batteries. So if you just undo the safety screw at the back, give that a bit, bit of a tap, should release. And keep it upside down so that actually slides out. There you go. Drop in the fresh, the new AA batteries. Tighten up the safety screw, and that's your hand controller. The bottom of the, of the drone itself, actually, let's just there's a safety screw there, so we'll just take that is absolutely tiny. Make sure you don't lose this, guys, because this is going to come all the way out. I would have thought, yeah, let's just put that aside so we don't lose it. And then the bottom of the drone, the the, the actual battery cover, can actually keep that in that position. Um, and then we just have to kind of fish out the LiPo battery itself. Be careful not to damage it. And there's the, oh, if you can even get it. Okay, a little bit fiddly there. But that's where you'll be actually plugging your LiPo battery into once it is fully charged, because it won't come charged and obviously just make sure it connects properly, red to red, black to black. Don't don't force it in. You can see from the angle of the actual male and female connectors how they go in. So that should just slide straight into there, and it will clip in just like that. We'll give that a full charge, 
um, and we'll come back to that. One thing to look at is obviously we've got to install the landing gear, which is in here. Comes in that little spares packet. So let's just take that out quick, guys. Um, I'm not gonna bore with these tiny little screws. Um, I reckon they're gonna be pretty fiddly, so I'll just speed up this process. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Right guys, those screws, the landing gear were super fiddly, so didn't really want to bore you with that. Um, they just take your time with those and then they, they actually sit in, they actually seat actually into the actual drone, the, the actual body. So make sure that they do sit in correctly um, and then it'll be nice and stable and nice and even as well. Okay guys, so it is a separate LiPo battery, so I'm sure if you check on the website, you may be able to get spares. Check that out, because that would be definitely a bonus. Go with a couple of few charged up batteries. Uh, you've got your on and off switch underneath the drone, and then... Okay guys, and then you've got the, the hand controller itself. So you've got the, eleva the two sticks, the elevation stick, and that will make it go up, down, rotate right, uh, sorry, left, then right. The, the right stick will... Make the drone go forwards, backwards, left and right. It really is as simple as that. Um, the actual speeds themselves is slow, moderate and fast. Guys, take this into consideration. It, it's on low when it's to the right. Normally most controllers would be on low to the left. So make sure that that's right over to the right and then it'll be in the slowest speed. And then you can, as you progress, you can make it go quicker and quicker. If you went outside, you might want to put it quick straight away or, or just to moderate. But I'm going to start off with it in the low speed because um, we're going to use it indoors. And then what we'll do is we'll do a test outdoors as well. All right, guys. Right, guys, we've got the, the battery fully charged. So we're just going to plug that into the drone itself. Like I said to you guys, just make sure that you match match it up. Don't force it in. It, it, does just, it slides in quite easily. You can get a little bit of... That's it. As easy as that. Pop that in there. That clicks. Just give it. Make sure it's clicked, and then the actual battery covers in place. Get the safety screw, which guys is tiny. Just be careful with that. <laughs> be so easy to lose that. That's, that's the one. Okay, guys, so that's nipped up, not too tight because it's into plastic. So what we'll do first is um, turn the hand controller on, turn the drone on. Okay, so you've got all the LED lights. You've heard it's already beeped, meaning that it's bound already. The red LED lights are the front of the drone, from only what I can gather with the writing facing forward. So red LED lights are the front and the blue are the back. So we'll pop that down. It's got a bit of a safety mode as far as the hand controller. So if you see the elevation stick, that needs to be in the downwards position. Push it forwards once, it'll beep once. Pull it back, it'll beep again, and then it's ready to fly. If you guys watch, I'll just push the elevation stick forward and it'll start to spin the propellers and you're ready to fly. Right guys, we'll bring you some action. Right guys, my final thoughts on the drone. I thought it was fantastic, especially for 25 pounds in the sale. If you paid 50, I'd still give it four out of five stars. Um, with the discount, I'd probably give it five out of five. For 25 pounds, you definitely wouldn't find a better drone than that. It was extremely stable indoors. Once you set the trims, um, it kind of hovered in one place for a while, moved about a little bit, but you know, it didn't really move about a lot. Outdoors, I loved it. Put it in medium to high speed. Um, it was super on point as far as being responsive. As soon as I put inputs in on the on the hand controller, the, the drone reacted straight away. So guys, any more 
feedback that you need from me, drop your comments in the comments box below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell that will notify you when I'm uploading new videos to YouTube, and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and share it with your friends. Guys, check out the other videos, there's a couple of other ones, especially if you're in the UK, those uh, Tesco's 50% discounted products. Um, otherwise, check out my other product giveaways, there's still more up for grabs. Thanks guys for watching, catch you on the next video.